Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is another closet clean out video. I am standing in front of my still disastrous closet, but you know, we're obviously, we're working on it. And that's the point of these videos. I am doing today non-distressed jeans. Yes, I have split jeans up into three different categories. I did distressed jeans. Here's a card for it somewhere if you want to watch that at some point. And now I am on to regular jeans and they are all here. I got about 18 pairs right here of non-distressed jeans. So, yes, again, I realize I suck. I think I had more distressed jeans to go through than these because I just really love distressed jeans. I think they're cute. I find non-distressed jeans to be a little bit boring, but someday I will be going back into the office. My company has made that clear. I've also pre-pandemic heard rumors that we were potentially changing the dress code so to be more casual. So these will probably be kind of my lifeblood. That being said, I just... I recognize that I still have too many. I don't need 18 pairs and um, I want to go th through and keep only the stuff that I'm reaching for, for obvious reasons. So same as I did in distressed jeans, I'm going to just briefly blow through these 18 so you guys can see what I have. I, as I do that, I'm going to categorize them between keep and on the chopping block and then for the stuff that's on the chopping block, we will do a try on of those and you guys have been great great on helping me decide what to keep i do read the feedback and it does factor into what i keep maybe i'll do like a i'll probably do like a finale at the end of this that's like hey here's what you guys suggested i keep and here's what i actually kept and then here's my closet now that it's no longer disastrous hopefully someday we get there this is probably going to be a long series but it is nice to have some videos where I'm not shopping the whole time Yay! okay so let's do this let's get into this so I'm just gonna start up here I don't even know what's in my pile and just go through this okay no boundaries so I think that is is no boundaries Walmart or is that Kohl's I think it's Walmart and just a dark wash uh, non I'm not going to even say non distressed that's what this whole video is. So, just a nice dark wash jean. They they have a good amount of stretch to them and I don't really think I have anything else that is this dark. So, I am going to put this in the keep pile. Now, we have by Democracy uh and I got this in a short story. I didn't have a video for it. These are actually a little bit big on me. They're a too petite. I usually go for a zero, but these are ones that in the winter I wear leggings under pants and it's nice to have a few pairs of pants that are a little bit looser. So these are ones that are great for putting actually some thicker leggings underneath. So even though they're a little bit loose and big, uh, they're comfortable and leggings. Okay, cut by the cloth and I have not worn these yet. I think I got these in an Ever Eve. Oh, the Democracies are keeps, obviously. Uh, got these from an Ever Eve and these are a cute straight leg. These are keepers. Jessica Simpson, we have here a, another straight leg, more of a medium wash here and this one, I know I really like this pair, so this is a keeper as well. So, things are going well, guys. I'm keeping everything. Okay, so then we have, uh, this is by um, Levi Signature, and these are pull-on pair. And, you know, pull-ons I have mixed feelings on because I am wearing things with shorter torsos. Uh, the, I, I don't like to show the pull-on because I feel like it's not the most, it's not the best look. I'll sell these fake pockets here in the front. Um, so I don't really like to show that. And now that kind of I'm wearing shorter tops, I'm not really covering that up. So I'm going to put these on the chopping block. Okay, next we have Forever Rolled Skinny uh, by Jessica Simpson, Soft Sculpt. So these are very nice looking. I like the dark wash, but with the, the lighter wear on it, I have not worn these yet either. Um, and you're going to hear me say that on a few of these. And again, it's just because I haven't been going to work. So I've just been wearing distressed jeans at home. So 
Uh, these are keepers for me. Then we have by NYDJ and these are a skinny I believe. Uh, what's it say here? They just call it a legging with lift tuck. Um, I used to wear these quite a bit but I think I just I don't know I just kind of lost interest a little bit so I definitely like to put these on the chopping chopping block and see if they are worth keeping. So it's another one on the chopping block. All right, then we have by No Boundaries again, Mid-Rise Skinny, Light Wash. I really like these. They're very stretchy, they feel good, and they're my only pair of Light Wash non-distress. So definite keepers there. Then we have by Articles of Society, a regular skinny, kind of a medium to dark wash. I think I'm going to put these on the chopping block. I do like Articles of Society. I do have a little bit of problem with um, sometimes having to kind of pull them up. That's probably I'm not buying the right size, but we these may be on the chopping block. But I see another pair of Articles of Society here. So let's compare. Do I have two pairs of the exact same jeans? What What's going on here, Jen? Uh... So yeah, uh, definitely one of these will be going, if not both. I, these look exactly the same. Maybe the wash is slightly different, but they're both Articles of Society. So nice job on that, Jen. I just might have, must have decided multiple times to keep the same pair of pants. So I'm going to put that and the both of those in the chopping block. So, okay, now we have by... Why am I one of that a butt? And I like the um, waistline of it. You can definitely see that the waistline goes in. I don't know that I felt like it really gave me a great butt by any means. There's my cat, Frank. So thank you for that, Frank. If you hear licking in the background, uh, he's probably going to start cleaning himself any second. So. Um, my thing with these is I didn't feel like they are as stretchy, so when I'm looking for comfort, I have not been reaching for these. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on the chopping block, even though I like the looks of them. Uh, this one is one of my, is an oldie, but a goodie, but is going to be on the chopping block. So this is by Soho, New York and Company, High Waist Curvy Leggings. Now, I vowed at one point that I was only going to buy curvy jeans going forward because they are a really, really great fit. And I probably should have stood by that, but I didn't because I just don't find them all that often. So, but my problem with these, I hate the wash. I just, I hate the wash on them. They're just not a good jean color in my opinion. So they're a great fit. They are a sucky jean color. So we're going to put those on the chopping block. All right, and then we buy have by Evident Los Angeles. Don't remember where I got these from. They are kind of a straight leg crop rolled, different kind of wash, and I like that. These are a recent purchase, I do know that. So these are keepers for me. Okay, then we have by Levi. These are the 721 High Rise Skinny. I honestly don't even remember these. I don't remember wearing these. They look nice. I like the wash on them, but we're going to put them on the chopping block. Okay, these are definite chopping block. Again, these are New York and Company. These are not curvy, and I don't really like the wash that much. I know it's just a regular medium wash, but I'm just I'm not really into it for non-distress jeans. So, chopping block again. Then we have, again, New York and Company non-curvy there we go uh dark wash i like the looks of them but i'm gonna go ahead and put them on the chopping block i'm putting more in the chopping block than i expected to then we have by rue 21 this high waist i like the three button top on it they're different i think they got a good amount of stretch so i think these are keepers for me then we have by Engine again, kind of a medium to dark wash there. It's a good looking jean. Um, I don't know. I'm not that excited about them. So chopping block. And then I got, this is one from Fashion. This is by Hot Kiss. And I do like these stripes on the side. I think that makes them unique. So, and I think these were pretty comfortable, good fit. So these are going to be keepers. 
Okay, so what I did in my last video was I tried on my keepers just to refresh myself as far as what I have, and then I can give you better results for the stuff that's in the chopping block. So, cut to Jen trying the chopping block jeans on now. Okay, first up we have the Engine jeans, and I like them, but I just don't think they are unique enough to keep. I think I have other pairs that are similar that I already put in the keep pile. And I kind of don't like, these are almost what I'd call like super skinny. I almost kind of don't like how skinny it is all the way down to the ankle. I just wish there was a little extra room down there. So nothing really wrong with these at this point. I'm clearly nitpicking, but when you have way too many pairs of pants, that's what you do. You nitpick. So to me, I think these are probably not keepers, but as I've done in past videos, I will put a number uh, next to the pair of jeans and you guys let me know in the comments which numbers you think I should keep super super helpful Thank you guys so much. Okay next pair. Okay, so next pair um, Aesthetic like dark wash wise. I, I like these a lot um, I like you can see that there's slightly extra room at the ankle that I didn't have with the previous pair So I really like that um, These would be winners, but they're almost like low rise like they come here my belly buttons up here I, I think these would have been keepers and they're clearly a perfect length a really really great length and these would have been keepers I just I want it to be higher and this is just not comfortable to me I don't know how I ever survived in a low rise world but I'm beyond that and so I think these are probably not keepers for me as well you can let me know what you think I almost didn't try this pair on because I knew I didn't like the wash, but I did want to try them on just in case I put them on and I was like, oh, I actually love these because that happens to me all the time. But no, that did not work. And then same as the last pair, this is New York and Company as well. The same as the last pair, um, just too, too low rise. So probably not keepers again, next pair. Okay, so I really like these. And again, I've been forgetting to do 360s. Ha, Jen. Um, so I do really like these. They, I love the color, the dark wash of them. Um, let me do a 360. The, it's almost, you know, it's almost up to my belly button. I feel good and snug. It's a great fit. It's slightly long, so I would probably normally roll these unless I've got some sort of boot on with it. So I'm actually leaning towards keeping these, although I have a couple other pairs that I put in my keep pile that are kind of a darker wash like this, but I don't know. I put them on and I like them. So what do you guys think? Okay, so this is my last pair of New York and Company. This was the curvy petite. It's a great fit. It really is. Um, I, you know, no extra waist here in the waistband. Here's my 360. I, I just don't, I'm just not big about this wash, particularly up here for some reason. I just, just it bothers me. So I'm thinking I'm leaning towards not keeping these. What do you guys think? Okay, next up we have the Articles of Society's pants. And I did try on the pair that looked exactly the same. And guess what? They're the exact same thing. So I already put those in the Poshmark pile. I'm obviously only going to put... On one of these for you guys but um, I really like them a really great fit around the waist a good medium wash skinny pant so these are ones that I am leaning towards keeping what do you think <sighs> okay I got the pull on pants and these were heavily worn last winter and I know I mean I know I don't like exposing the you know pull on and fake pockets here but they're so comfortable they were good over leggings for when I double layer here's my 360 I barely did that oh I hate to give these up so, but from a wash perspective these look almost exactly the same as the article society I just had on but they are maybe ones that I do pull with a longer sweater or a longer shirt and a cardigan, something like that. So I kind of want to keep these. What do you guys think? Okay, next pair. I feel like the wash is pretty similar on these as the last two, but maybe I'm wrong. These are a little bit darker. 
I was wrong. The pair of pants two ago that I thought were article size were actually NYDJ. These are my articles of society. Again, I really like these. Not any gapping around the waistline. Good feel to them. Nice high waist. This is not easy, guys. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Next pair. Okay, so these are darker than the last. These are fake pockets here. Are they sewn pockets or fake? I'm actually not entirely sure. Okay, fake. So they are fake. I like the coloring of them quite a bit. Um, they are long, so there's a a kind of double roll that um, I think it was sent with with a double roll and I have left that. So I like the coloring of it. It, it is a good, we'll go this way because there's a big tag. There is a, it is a really good waist fit, very good fit there. Again, nice high rise. So from a fit perspective, I have zero issues with these. Um, I'm just struggling with there's a lot of pairs I still want to keep. So. What do you guys think? Oh, and these were the, I don't know if I said the why am I want a better butt. So, yes, I do. Thank you. So, I uh, would love to hear your guys' opinions. So, wrapping up real quick. I don't feel a need to move around for the, the outro on this. So, again, I have put all the numbers for the jeans. I would love to hear what you guys think I should keep. Unfortunately, it seems like the second half I wanted to keep everything which is not bad for me to keep more of the non-distressed because they are going to get used at some point. So, but I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on these pairs. So let me know what you guys think. I look forward to your comments and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.